Hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve, welcoming you back to a long-anticipated next episode of our Asian Garden Zoo, where today we're going to be building an exhibit for some snub mouse monkeys. And, of course, because they're monkeys, and this is how I like to make monkeys, they will be living on an island. Why do I do that? No way of knowing. It's just the way I think it's fun is to present monk monks. So, uh, you're going to have to live with it? Just like these monkeys are going to have to live on this island for the rest of their lives, where they'll be well taken care of. Okay. Starting up here, let's go ahead and build the inside area. It's going to be a sort of a smaller um, smaller inside area because we are kind of uh, building in that between the koi pond here and uh, the edge of the zoo. Uh, building on a medium type zoo like we usually do, so uh, we're a little low on space in this corner of the park. So I think this is going to be the perfect exhibit. We're going to build these two sort of bigger cages here that the monkeys can go inside. Uh, we can separate them up, male and female, so there's no fighting or, you know, people biting each other and causing injuries. Uh -huh. And then they can go free, free on the island when they need to. Let's just start by building around here. We're going to use those same glass railing fences that we used along the koi pond to kind of tie everything in. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a series of rocks around the actual island itself just to make it look a little bit more natural. Because uh, if you have experience with Zoo Tycoon 2, you know they kind of get these weird uh, 90 degree angles, which are good for humans, but not for building faux, realistic, natural environments. Go with the skinnier rocks here because the water is closer to the railing. There we go. Just keep going around like so. And uh, get it from this angle. There we go. Great. Perfect. We're at least close enough to perfect. You can see I've already grabbed a lot of uh, a lot of things I think we're going to use in this exhibit, including this little temple here, because we've got to make all monkeys look like they live in the same conditions King Louis does. That's just a rule. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And I've got these panelines from the uh, Wilds China, uh, Wilds China expansion pack. Doo -doo -doo. If you're looking for any of these uh, mods or anything, once again, in the link or in the description below, there is a link to the Zutaiku 2 download wiki. You just do a search there for, I believe you just have to search for signs, and you'll find all of these uh, panelings I'm putting up here. here. Doo -doo -doo. Just trying to get those all nice and even. And the main effect of this wall here, where we're putting up these things, I should say, is really just so uh, you're not going to see the snub-nosed monkeys uh, heading towards the pangolin exhibit we did last time. And I still want our guests to go to the pangolins first. I'm still really happy with that exhibit, so encouraging them to head that way. And um, to block their view from the snub-nosed monkeys we're putting in here, we'll just put up those panels. Let me get rid of this real quick. Quick little edit to the path. Do like that. Okay. And we'll drop down more of this uh, tropical savanna dirt because it looks more like a pathway to me. And put a nice big tree there. And our koi's have escaped. Let me get rid of these guys. All right, we're gonna have to re-put the koi's back in. Ah! That happens sometimes when you do these really, really like, um, I guess, technical or uh, uh, details. Probably better when you do really detailed exhibits. Sometimes Zutaiku 2 restarts and it loads the animal slightly outside the exhibit. I'm guessing that's what happened to our koi there. Other than that, or they have found a way to evolve rapidly uh, within a single generation, and now they are going to take over the park. That's always possible. Can't discount that. That's why you gotta keep a game warden with a shotgun. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Just making a nice little area for a tree here. Nope. Nope. I guess that'll work. And we'll fill that in with some undergrowth. There we go. Beautiful tree thing. Blue, 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 blue. Guess I should get back working on the actual exhibit again. I've teased you enough. I'm gonna change the height of these guys. Uh, I want it as high as possible for the monkeys so we can have them climb if they want to. Because, you know, monkeys be climbing. There we go. But uh, we don't want it to pop over the paneling that we're putting from the outside. Okay, I think that's how it's gonna work. And then we'll want to, I'm gonna make like a little entrance area here in a second. A little entrance area for our zookeepers. 
kind of hide the fact that that's the entrance to the exhibit from our guest, hopefully. And, oops, nope. Don't want the ones where it's on the ground, please. That's the one I want. I'll just turn these gates down. Turn them down for what, you might ask. And my response is, so the monkeys can go through them, obviously. Okay. Get across there. little house. I'm going to put in a little house here so it ties in that uh, sort of faux Asian theme we've been doing. Is that going to work? Ah, I made it too low. Shoot. Well, I can put a ring around our door. Ring around the door. And let's go ahead and grab these little eaves. I think is what they technically are. I'm probably going to have to change that gate back there because I think they're going to pop up too much. But we'll see. We'll try. We will do or die. Hopefully not die. That sounds like the worst possible scenario, but you never know. Okay. Do do do. Hold on. <coughs> Welcome back from my sneezing fit. I hope you didn't catch too much of that on uh, mic, I was going to say on camera, but that's not correct. I deny you my beautiful face on camera just because I don't want all the women trying to contact me all the time. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and where are our beautiful little snub-nosed monkeys? Golden snub-nosed monkeys! Climbing around and doing monkey stuff. these trees so we can tie it in the whole area and kind of make it look like a more natural environment. Uh, the idea would be if we are putting down these rocks here, uh, the rocks are going to catch some seeds and therefore there's going to be more foliage actually around the rocks. We're probably going to want to put down like a grass. Um, what am I going to say? Let's get rid of that. Put it in one of these climbing trees so they climb. Uh, probably going to want to put down some grass or just some ferns along the actual rocks. Maybe not. Maybe that would block the view too much. There you go. That looks like a nice, happy, active environment for some monks. Okay, so we're going to kind of make a little hallway entrance here is I think what we're going to do. Get some trees is. Fill this area up. And again, we're just kind of trying to make it uh, not so obvious to the guest that that's where the zookeeper's going, right? That's not what we want. Everybody gets a roof. Yeah, I'm gonna switch over to these, uh, to these tank gates so that we can have a nice wooden background. Like so. Instead of that gray background that was leaking through. And we'll go ahead and put a roof on here. Um, just to keep the colors right, let's do this. Okay. So, make it a nice arched roof. Arc? Arched? It's not really an arch, it's a triangle. Is that the right term for it? Don't know. Moving on. Uh, let's go ahead and also put in sort of our faux oriental corners. I don't know if we're going to be able to pick that up from the ground level, but uh, I'll know it's there. That'll make me happy, so. It's right level. No, go to the other side. Come on, you know what you're doing. Here, let's cheat and just put in fences that are the right shape. Like that. Fences and fences. There we go. Much more better. Very good. And then we're gonna hallway this, put a door there instead. Yes. Yes. It's all coming together. We're all in this together, making zoos. Got to get this fixed a little bit, I think. Um, get an archway here. And then we'll want to put a roof across. 
crossed. But I'm going to want it to be a different type of roof, like that. Or a different height of roof, is what I should say. Grab the fences of the correct size in to make that work. <laughs> I'm having to have a think about the, uh, the way we're leaving the pathway here. Heading towards the pangolin. I'm not sure that's going to work now. Let me see what we can do. Can I... I don't think there's going to be enough room for these guys. I'm going to tell you the truth. Don't think it's going to let me do it from hitbox issues. Can I disguise with trees? Trees, please! Come on, slide in like I want you to. Okay, might have to do a little bit of a redesign there. But anyway, let's uh, finish up the zookeeper entrance for now. By disguising it with beautiful foliage. And also putting a gate there so little kids don't go wandering into it. Hmm, I say. Uh, get rid of the path there. Uh, I think we're going to get rid of those. Oh, we're going to have to put in a wall if we get rid of those. Put a wall in. There we go. One, one forest. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. And block it off from the side. I don't know. Actually, that's actually okay because you can see it from both sides. Okay, I think that will work. Great. Now let's go ahead and forest up the area behind where you're going to walk in front of the uh, snub nosed monkey island. Go ahead and grab some of the middle of the road bushes, but middle of the road, I mean middle height bushes, just really block it off, visually, and some undergrowth to go with that, get some of my Chinese snow bushes, which I've been told is the correct translation of that, <laughs> oh, oh, you're my chest cheese girl, Okay, I think we've got the idea down. Let's go ahead, and I want to put these panels... I'm going to put them after every... I'm going to put them every four, is how I should say that. Around the zoo. I'm going to try to keep that up. If I forget to do that in future videos, remind me. Uh, I need to put those every four to kind of get the... Get the, uh, the look, the feel right. Uh, let's make this kind of grassy and green. Like people aren't walking on it all the time. Keep off the grass. I guess I need to actually, like, do the inside areas to make them look correct. Let's go ahead and get that started. What do we need to make Monk Monks happy? Oh, we'll give them, uh, we'll give them climbing apparatus. Oh, we'll give them some foods. And some waters. Foods and waters. They get everything. Put in gates so our zookeepers can get in there to help the monks. And here we are in our walkthrough, starting at the entrance, like usual. One ticket, please. Going through the gate. Walking past our tapirs, still a really nice tapir exhibit. I've restocked koi in the pond, but now there's a peacock running free. That's okay, a lot of zoos have free range peacocks. You're okay. You're okay, Mr. Peacock. And here we are. This is kind of the area where you have the choice to go three, well, I guess four ways. You could go backwards. But most people, I hope, are going to be still drawn to our Pangalon exhibit, since you can read that sign from here. I'm going to walk down this pathway. Oh, look. Wild zookeeper sitting on his butt doing nothing. Wow, I'll take a picture. Everyone take a picture of the zookeeper doing nothing. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, so I think this area came out pretty good. It's, uh, I don't hate it at least. It looks like uh, the zoo people that made it weren't insane. Uh, of course, they still have the option to go into our pangalons. But uh, some people might be drawn to the water. I'm going to go through the pangalons again. But... Uh, just want to make sure that that turn is very good. There we go. And I can already see some of our monkeys hanging out, doing their thing. Whoops, I've turned to the left instead of the right. So, well, you got a nice view of what the background looked like. But there we go. Golden snub-nosed monkeys. Let's go ahead and take a picture, because I'm pretty sure it'll last longer. Um, oh, there's one I can see kind of going into the cage area, too, in the background. Um, doo -doo -doo. I really wish those cool monkey playground areas were uh, actually 
worked. They're just kind of statues. They look awesome, but that's why I made sure I put the uh, climbing tree in there, So because I, I wanted them to have an actual feature they could climb on. Now let's go ahead and go through the zookeeper issues now. And you can see it's kind of hidden. Uh, there's some weed issues in there, but not so much. I hate it. And are you able to get outside, Mr. Monkey? Let's give you a brushing. Well, the one that was in the other cage got outside, so obviously it's working. He's just being a lollygagger, sitting inside all day. Alright. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. That was not supposed to be there, and that was not supposed to be there. Fantastic. Don't worry about that. This walkthrough went smoothly. I can now walk through. I see he just went outside. Proof positive that it works. Very good. And we'll open the door and walk through the actual monkey island. Uh, you're stuck in a little thing. Uh, but I hope you'll be able to get around. Yeah, there you go. You turned. You got around. That's not an issue. Now there's an issue for Golden Snubnose Monkey 3. Or 2. Or 4. Males are much larger in this species. Alright, but that's a pretty good little monkey island there, I think. I'm pretty happy with it, and the best part is it fits so well into uh, the area that we had left. Oh, I took a little nap at the borderlands. Good for you. I should take a little nap now. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this episode to an end. Let's do our zoom and spin so you can get a good look at it from all angles. Uh, if you like this video, you can go ahead and prove that by actually liking the video. And if you want to stay in touch with this uh, this series or any of the other amazing series on my channel, just hit the subscribe button, and then you'll want to hit that little bell notification icon, because I post infrequently, but amazingly awesomely every time. Amazingly awesomely is a true word. Don't worry about it. I want to thank you for spending your time with me today, and I hope you come back again. Other than that, this is Zoo Tycooner Steve saying goodbye.